everyone, so I am back. It has been a very long time since I filmed a video because the last ones that you saw I actually filmed back in LA and then I took a week off. I went on holiday with my friends who we went to Lisbon in Portugal. It was amazing. I was so non-granny, you'd be so proud of me. Staying up till like 4am in the morning, hence the raspy voice now. But I'm going to do a video for you today that I've been promising for a while and it is a fitness food and kind of fashion haul back from LA. There's a few things from Madewell, a few things from an amazing shop called Paquetto. I went a bit mad in Whole Foods and then also Lululemon as well. But I'm gonna get started with the two things that I picked up in Madewell and I actually picked up two pairs of shoes. And it's been a very long time since I picked up some shoes. I've obviously still got that capsule wardrobe thing like bubbling in the background so I don't tend to buy too many fashion pieces these days. But these shoes, I kind of needed some sandaly, more summery ones because I basically just own boots and we're definitely into summer in the UK although right now it's, it's very grey outside. It's definitely not Lisbon temperatures out there, <laughs> let me tell you. But this is the first pair and I just thought they were a really nice pair of sandals. I don't like sandals where my toes are too present. My toes look a bit like fingers so I like to keep them a little bit hidden and this definitely does that and it's almost just a little dalmatian -y polka dot print on the front and then a black leathery bit at the back and I have to say these shoes are so darn uncomfortable. They left me with blisters that I'm still recovering from now and I wore them back in LA, that's when I got my blisters. So we're talking a good couple of weeks. And I did actually wear the other ones when I was in Lisbon. These are more sandaly, but again, still kind of got the same shape going on, just in a bit of more gladiator style shoe. I always like this style of sandal in a brown. I just find that it's a bit more flattering on your legs and it kind of goes with more things. It's not so harsh as black. It's a bit more summery. And I didn't get any back blisters with this, but I did get a few around the toes, but it definitely wasn't as horrendous as the other pair. So definitely not the most comfortable shoe purchases ever but they do look very nice on the feet and I did also pick up this ring as well they've got amazing jewelry and made well really nice necklaces some nice earrings I actually picked these up on my last trip to LA and they're so nice they've lasted really well they haven't turned my earlobes green or anything like that so I highly recommend some jewelry purchases perhaps not shoe purchases but they do look really nice and they weren't too pricey either but then another jewelry thing that I picked up a few things from Paquetto and that is a little store that's in the bottom of the Line Hotel in, I think it's in Koreatown or is it downtown in LA? We've been there before, they do marble everything and last time I went a bit mad with the marble, I bought a little marble diary, I bought my marble rectangular necklace thing that I wear a ton but recently I've got it, I've got it mixed up, I've got it in a massive knot and some days I just spend five minutes every day trying to get it out and working on it. I'm getting there, it's my project at the moment. But the one thing that I did pick up was this ring, and it's just a gold ring with a semicircle over the top. And actually, the corners of the semicircle are very sharp. I'm gonna ask Mark if he's got any sandpaper or something so I can like sandpaper them down and that way they won't catch so much on my skin. But I just think it's very pretty. I like really dainty rings, and this is very dainty and fits with everything else that I wear on my fingers. And then I also got these gold earrings as well. They're a line with a little bubble in the middle, and they're a little bit bigger than the earrings that I normally wear so these are more of a statement piece for me I mean they're hardly a statement piece back in the day I wore feathers out of my ears you know they're hardly that but they're just a very nice dainty piece of jewelry again I steered clear from all of the marble this time and I just picked up a candle and this is the soy candle from PF Candle Company I think you can get this on shop anime as well and this is the number 10 sweep sweep <laughs> sweet grapefruit scent and it basically smells like what does it remind me of? Basically sweets, like a very sweet, almost watermelony, artificially scent. Not really selling it, but it really reminds me of, do you remember when Boots had that Glitter Babes range? And I was obsessed with Glitter Babes. It reminds me of something back from more of my kind of childhood years. I don't know, has anyone else got this candle or thinks that it reminds them of something? Because it really does with me. If it comes to me, I'll, I'll pop it up here, but if not, it's just, it's nostalgia in a candle. It's very fresh, very summery. So those are all my fashion -y bits. Now onto the food. And we actually went to Whole Foods and I lost Lily. She went to go and get breakfast or something. So I was left on my own in Whole Foods. Bad, bad idea. I just went crazy with the snacks and I, I, I just bought so much food. And I've actually eaten most of it. So this can be like a little food haul slash review at the same time. And the Whole Foods in America is just, insane they literally have health foods like stacked 
stacked up to the ceiling. It's my dream. I went a bit nuts. I've been chowing down on these for the past few weeks, but not throwing away the bags, which Mark thought was nuts. Like we ate some the other night, and I was like, no, keep the bag. I, I need to show. I need to show everyone all these snacks I've been eating. This morning I had some of these. These are the chocolate snackaroons. I'm not sure what brand they are. If I can find any of these on Amazon or something like that, I will pop them below. Was it the Laughing Giraffe Company? And that actually tastes really nice. I kind of have these whenever I fancy something sweet. One that I've got, and I'm not 100% sure on these, these are the Go Raw Lemon Pie Sprouted Cookies. These taste a bit like cardboard with lemon in. So not, not such a bad purchase, these ones. Then I picked up the Skinny Crisps Low Carb and Gluten Free Cinnamon Crisps. Again, a little bit cardboardy, so not hugely into these, but I'm sure I'll work my way through them. <gasps> these are good. These are the organic hard candies cherry flavour. Yeah, I have been going a bit nuts with these. Oh, there's actually some left. That's quite a surprise. These just taste like cherry drops, and I'm sure they're probably not even that healthy for you, but I've been enjoying eating those. Now, this brand has been recommended to me a lot. Is it Vega? Vega? They do vegan protein, but they also have these little bars, and these are chocolate cherry almond. Chocolate cherry almond sounds like a good flavour combination. I bought two. I haven't eaten them yet because I've been waiting to work out so I can eat them afterwards, but I'll keep you updated with those if I've eaten it. By the time I put up this video, I'll pop a description box note. And then also this one, the Sun Warrior Warrior Blend Organic Protein, the vanilla one. I picked up three of the testers. Now this was recommended to me a lot when I asked for any vanilla protein suggestions. People were like, guys, Sun Warrior, this is what you need. And you can get it in the UK, but it's on Amazon. And I did a quick little bit of maths in my head and I thought that it was cheaper for me to buy it out there. So I bought three of the little tester sachets and then also the big one as well. And I really like that it's in a nice jar, very easy to store. Again, I haven't tried this one yet, but if I do try it by the time I upload this video, I'll pop a little note in the description box and let you know what I think. But this had really good reviews on Amazon and lots of people have recommended it to me, so I'll give it a go. Okay, on to the Lululemon, and we actually went to one of the smaller stores. I think it was on Robertson, maybe? It definitely wasn't as big as the one in Santa Monica that I've been to before. The one in Santa Monica is like huge and just made me go crazy. But the Robertson one was a little bit smaller, which is probably a good thing, because I only picked up one thing for me, one thing for my sister, and also a couple of pants, because I think their pants are amazing. They are these ones, the Namaste put pants. Now I'm not sure if they're cheaper to buy over there or over here. I think they're probably a little bit cheaper to buy over there. I buy them in the medium size because I like them just not to be too tight because they're like no VPL pants and so I find that if they're a bit tight they give you the four butt thing and that's the whole reason why you're buying these because you don't want the four butt thing. I bought two pairs of nude and two pairs of black but I've already been using the other ones. I just think these are great. I've tried so many different VPL knickers and I find that these are the most comfortable to work out in. You kind of don't really even realise that you're wearing pants and they don't show through leggings. You don't end up with that like VPL thing. I think these are awesome and if I'm honest I've actually just started wearing them as my everyday pants. I just don't like to wear any other pants aside from these because they are that comfortable. So hence why I needed to buy another four pairs. And the one thing that I bought my sister, I'm going to have to go around her house and drop this off to her now. Otherwise you're going to watch this video and see that I got this for you. But Megan, I got this for you. I hope you like it. It's just the Trapeze Twist Tank. And I think it's got silver in it. Silver scent technology inhibits the growth of odour causing bacteria on the tank. Um, it's got a cool little twist at the back. I just thought this was really nice, completely up my sister's street. She loves a bit of Lululemon like I do, so uh, hope you like that, Megan. <laughs> and then the one thing that I bought for myself were these, and these, I can't remember what they're called because I've pulled out the tag because I've already been wearing them, but they're just the black, I think they're called the High Times Pants. I think they're the High Times Pants, but they're black, they've got a little pocket on the side. They've basically got mesh going down the side and then a little bit of scrunching at the bottom, but I just find the Lululemon leggings so comfortable to wear and they just come up to a nice height at least the styles that I like I like the high times pants and the aligned pants they just come up nice and high they tuck you in they just make me feel so comfortable and I don't ever find myself getting really hot and sweaty and, and then to show you sweat patches or anything like that I know that Lululemon is super 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 pricey and the sports bras are nice their tops are nice but you can get them cheaper elsewhere but I would say the leggings are the one thing that I will go back there time and time and time again for the aligned pants in black 
are just some of the best workout leggings. I get excited just, I'm smiling just thinking about them. And I think that is actually the end of this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Something a bit different. Personally, this is just the stuff that I love right now. This is where my passion is at. I mean, these are candies are going to be eaten by the time I finish editing this video. There's not actually that many left. Terrible idea when you just brush your teeth. Terrible. <laughs> you guys are all well though thank you for sticking with me while I went away for a week I hope you had a good week then thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Sunday with a brand new video which I think is going to be an updated everyday makeup routine but let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see and I'll see you then bye